This month's topic will be of interest to anyone planning to start a family, fertility. Joining me now is Dr. Raymond Key, Director of In Vitro Fertilization Services at Fertility Associates of Memphis. Dr. Key, welcome to Smart Medicine. Well, thank you for having me. It may sound simplistic, but tell me what fertility is, or better yet, tell me what infertility is. It's simply the inability to have children when you want to. I try and stress two things when I talk to infertility patients. First of all, this is a couple's disease. It, does, it can't just involve the wife or the husband. Both of them have to be involved. Secondly, it is a disease and it requires treatment. It's not in your head. It's not something that uh, can work, be worked out just with time. Um, it does require treatment to uh, be fixed. Tell me what some of the treatments are. About three quarters of the patients I see actually don't require any assisted reproduction. They can be treated with medication or surgery or sometimes just counseling. There is a small proportion, however, that will require some of our assisted reproductive technologies where we can manipulate sperm and eggs in order to help a couple conceive. Now that's normally pretty expensive though when it gets to that part. Well, that's not true either. That's another misconception, I think. In Tennessee, approximately 30% of our patients have infertility coverage. Tell me what you tell a couple when they come in and say they really want to have a family and they haven't been able to conceive. First of all, I tell them that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. This is often infertility couples. Uh, I think a lot of their emotions run from shame to grief. They choose not to share with their family, with their friends. They often receive advice that unfortunately isn't that helpful. I tell them that this is not because of something they've done. I tell them that they don't need to feel guilty or shame about it. This is a disease that requires treatment. The second thing I tell them that it's very, very unlikely that I'm going to tell them they're sterile. There's a big difference between infertility and sterility. And the fact is, is that there's always hope that they can get pregnant. Dr. Key, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you again.